What's going on, YouTube? My name is FG3000. I'm back in the place to be, and welcome back to Exos Heroes on this very early morning down here in Austin, Texas. In today's video, today is Nature Day, so we're going to be knocking out the solar and lunar lunatic difficulties. But before we do any of that, um, there is a Season 2 celebration event going on right now in between September the 2nd and October 1st. So based on these dates here, it looks like anyone that jumps in uh, during this time period will be able to take advantage of all of these bonuses here, regardless of when you stop but you definitely want to give yourself at least a seven day, you know, leeway in order to get all the rewards here. Um, so as you guys can see, every single day that you log on for seven days, you're going to get a free 11 pool. So that's 77 free summons right there. Very nice. And if you go inside the village, um, you can get different rewards every single day. So zest, gold, uh, holy water of the universe, what I know a lot of people are looking for. Some basic books of experience. Come on. Give out the premium ones. Like they have this new book of experience that is a premium that you can see in the monthly um, quest. They need to just start giving those out like, you know, like candy. Um, a growth package, and then of course, Naomi is free at the very end, which is very nice. So nice rewards, it's all free. All you gotta do is just log on and grab them. So cannot be mad at that. Um, let's jump over into the free recruit here. Um, I haven't heard anything bad about it, so I assume it works this time around. <laughs> We're gonna go ahead and give this the full skip action, ladies and gentlemen, with a snap skip. The iconic sk snap skip, my friends. But man, oh man. I'm dragging again this morning. Can I? Wake me up. Wake me up. All right. Well, I'll take a faded. Oh, God. Dude, she loves my account so much. Why does she love my account so much? I, I will never know. But, yeah, I'm dragging a little bit. But now I have finally beaten Marvel's Avengers. I finally beat it. Um, the game has only been out for 48 hours. I've, I've gone ahead and put in 27 hours. I put in 27 hours in a game that's only been out for two days. <laughs> but now it's beaten, and now I can relax. But actually, now the game really begins. But we're not talking about that. We're talking about Exos Heroes, ladies and gentlemen. Come on, turn up, turn up. Oh, dude, I felt like it was about to. I felt like I heard the trumpets play. And kicked off the boat. So there you go. Nice little free summon. I'll absolutely take a free Anna. And that's every day for the next seven days for me. 77 free multi pulls. And speaking of the banner right now, check out the first Guardians in the place to be. So there's a fate, uh, Choice Fate Re banner going on, which will allow you to pick your favorite first Guardian that you want to summon for. And it'll increase your odds of that um, first Guardian in question. My money is on Rara. I don't know why you would raid up any of these other ones at all. <laughs> there, there's no point. Don't raid up any of these. It has to be one of these two. Um, and my money is on Rara. Um, and speaking of Rara, it is a nature day, ladies and gentlemen. So let's go ahead and jump on over into a solar and lunar. Um, this one should be pretty... I'm, I'm thinking it's going to be easy. But I, I'm, I'm so used to my Rara having Annie to get that mana boost in the very beginning. So we'll see how it goes. All right, so here's a team that we're going to be running with. We have a Valar here. Um, if you're not familiar with her, she's not really great unless she has Garf with her. If she has Garf, she's actually pretty legit. But without that, meh. Um, we have Talia here that's going to provide, you know, first aid, some heals. Um, we have Chachi here. Everyone's a favorite fate summon, um, providing sleep if I need it. Maybe barrier is probably what I'm going to go for just to keep people alive in that first round. Also protect. Um, we have the Rakaga. Gay Rudley back in the place to be, providing single target damage. Um, do I have I have him elementally enhanced? I didn't even know, I do have him elementally enhanced. Oh, nice! I didn't even know that. All right, so that's gonna make things a little bit easier. Then obviously I have Rara here as well, three times elementally enhanced. We're just trying to get her AOE off. If we can get her AOE off as fast as possible, we're in good shape. Um, so first things first. You do block provoke. That's not, actually not that big of a deal, to be honest. Um, I'm actually just going to do a basic attack. Break the offensive guys over here. Very nice. That works out quite well. Now, Valar's, uh, this is a zero cost ability here. I wonder. Let's just see. <laughs> Let's just see how it's going to go. There's the thrust. There's the thrust. Doesn't hurt. Exactly. Now, am I... Should I... I'm actually just going to go for the barrier. Dang, I'm glad I did that because they tried to kill King Rudley. <laughs> All right, first aid's in. Oh, wow. Down goes Talia in the first round. Um, all right, but we do have Rara. Rara in the go now. 
So we should be able to keep them through off the lag and the slowdown. We should be able to keep them all good to go. Um, probably don't need all this power. No, no one man needs all that power to get the job done. Um, but we'll keep it going. Love her ultimate, though. What a great ultimate. What a cool ultimate. Um, and then from here... Not really. See, this is the only part that Chati kind of sucks at. <laughs> when you're not using the barrier or putting, like, priority targets to sleep, it's like, Chati, what are you doing? And she's like, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> All right. Redly. Um, actually, what we can do, kill you. Well, at least break you. Kill you. Can't find my mouse cursor through all, all the barriers. Nice, nice. And then from here, just basic attacks on Chati. Not a big deal. Um, should we... Now let's go ahead and start getting some mana up. Just a little bit of mana. Then what I can also... Ah, I messed up there. I messed up there a little bit. So now I'm being taunted. Well, I'll go ahead and put you to sleep. Or kill you. Or put you to sleep. Ouch. If only if only you weren't dead. Rarus taunted as well. I'm just trying to save up some mana here. But I might be overdoing it. Let's get him out of the way. Because he's going to mess this all up. Um, yeah. Ah! <laughs> what was that sound effect for, FG? I didn't want to get thrusted. All right, now we're good. Man, that, that first round was a little sloppy. I definitely could have did that better. Definitely could have did that better. But this is literally my first time doing this one. I wanted to do it live and catch that experience. You know what I'm talking about. Poor Talia, by the way. No, no Tranquil this time around. Full 10 mana cost bursted galactic baptism. Wow. Wow. I mean, they're not broken, so I didn't expect the most damage in the world, but I expected a little bit more. <laughs> I expected a little bit more. Okay. And you can kind of see, you know, she does put out really good damage for a support character or tank, I mean. Um, but it's not burst, so it's not going to completely blow you away. Just building up a little bit of mana here. Ouch. Nice with the thrust. Breaking on her own. You love to see it. And then, once again, just save some mana. If I had someone else that could AoE before Rara goes, that would be, like, perfect. But unfortunately not. Dude, I need to have a Garf, man. I don't actually like these characters that have to have someone to activate anything as a fake core. You know what I mean? If you're a fake core, you should be able to stand on your own. Kind of lame. All right. Oh, dude, you went first? Relax. <laughs> Down goes Valar. Okay, okay. Big, a big AoE, big AoE. Can we hit you with a full burst? Wow. You tried, Rudley. You tried. Um, what are these buffs that you have? Decrease hit and decrease dodge. Oh, I, I put that on you. <laughs> I'm like, what, what, what is this? <laughs> All right. It's just Redly and Rara. But luckily, Elemental Enhanced. That is the key to victory. So that brand new First Guardian banner, definitely go for Rara. Get her Elemental Enhanced as fast as you can. You know, with all the, you know, with all, with all the things that are not great going on in Exos Heroes, I still have to give them props on some of some aspects of the dupe system you know I, I feel like another game would have been like no you need to have multiple copies of first guardian rara in order to activate her elementally enhanced that would suck <laughs> at least you can have the og copies of rara to increase her elemental enhance you know what i mean that would have been just oh my god <laughs> don't give me any ideas fg you're right you're right you're right all right we got out of this one very sloppy, but we pulled it off. It would have been better if I had Talia. She died so early. Man. <laughs> Rara is having uh, some issues here. She'll pull it off, though. We got this. 
if you ever wanted to see her skills, here you go. <laughs> more times than you really wanted to. All the times. And then one more good time. Down goes. Very, very nice. All right. So that is a solar. A little sloppy. Um, but I can do that better. I can absolutely do that better. I don't think it's ready. I don't think it's quite ready for uh, autoplay. Just due to how... Well, maybe it is. Let me let me try it. We'll, we'll try it on Lunar. We'll see if we can get to a, a place where we can just turn on autoplay. Um, I feel like I might have been in that position had Talia not died. So let's try to do round one a little bit better. And see if we can turn this bad boy on autoplay. Because that's, of course, the dream. Um... Let's see. Playing games on manual is cool the first time. But after that, you're like, all right, how do I automate this? How do I get this automated? <laughs> all right. We just need some better RNG on who gets hit here. Do I do it again? Do I do it again? Why not? <laughs> Why not? Nice block. Good job. That's okay. It doesn't hurt. You said it. I think this time around, I want to just... I want to put someone to sleep. Last time I did barrier... Dang, it doesn't matter! They still went for Talia! <laughs> Man, I hate this game. <laughs> Dude, I was trying to play it like a bro. <laughs> Alright, fine. Let's clear this out. So let's see. Throw it on auto. Let's see what happens. I, I would feel much better if Talia was alive before I before we do this. I have zero faith that this is gonna work because of this ability right here. I can't I can't do it on auto. Yeah, I can't. I don't have enough AOE on this team, so it's just not gonna work. Ugh. All right. Yeah. This this one's not auto ready at all. Yeah, this, we're going to have to... <laughs> this was not auto-ready at all in the least bit. All right. This time, however, Talia's not going to die in the first round. Um, screw this noise. You guys are jerks. Let me hit y'all instead. Okay. And then you kind of screwed yourself. No, uh, not really. It'll be all right. Ouch. Thrust. Actually, I think we did a much better job here. Okay. All right, we're, we're, in, we're in good shape here. We're in much better shape. All right, I think I like that flow a little bit better. Um, let's go ahead and finish breaking you. And then Galactic Baptism, and we have Talia, who lives to go into the next round, finally. Very, very nice. Let's get some of these guys out of here. Um, probably not gonna be able to kill anyone. Wish that was burst, dude. I don't know. She might be overpowered if it was burst, but I don't. I don't care. <laughs> All right. Um, bring it down. Big golem. This team is just filled with all of the characters. Uh, I thought you were about to hit Talia. Oh, wow, that hurts. Um, this team is just filled with all the characters that completely lag out the game. Like, Rara's ultimate. It could only be more complete if it had Shu. Like, between Shu, um, Talia, and Rara, they're, like, lag central when it comes to this game. And I kind of noticed maybe they have changed the way they've coded how ultimates work because Dorka doesn't lag at all. Like, the new characters don't lag at all. So, I feel like they've changed the way they've done things. Because she has a lot of multi-hits as well. Good stuff, good stuff. Alright, now, let's get to work. Building up a little bit of mana here. Just when you thought you were going to be free, you get broken again. I don't even think my Valar is blessed. So, yeah, her getting mana doesn't mean anything. Because <laughs> she's already maxed out. Is my my Talia has to be blessed. My oh, okay. <laughs> I was like, dude, my Talia's not blessed. <laughs> How did I get out of chapter eleven? All right. 
Galactic Baptism, bring it down. Very, very nice. And then very strong, meaty, bursted uh, ultimate there from Redley, so that'll get the job done there. And uh, finally, we are good to go. Um, HP's looking fine. Just get rid of you, and then we'll go to uh, mana farm mode. Elemental enhance. What a beautiful thing. And then, um, y'all are all manned up. Do I? Nah, let's just, let's play it safe. <laughs> Just keep on getting their mana up. I should have put you to sleep. Oh, no. You're good. I was going to say I should have put you to sleep just in case you hit me back, but this guy doesn't retaliate. All right. So, Rara is basically ready to go, but unfortunately, I can't set up a break beforehand. That's the only thing that sucks. All right, nameless dude. Well, Gregory. Oh, wow. With the one shot. Really? That's how you're going to start this off? <laughs> Just one shot in Valar, dude. All right. So, yeah. Nature Day, not quite audible. Not not quite auto audible <laughs> at all. Not for me, at least. I just don't have, maybe if I was using some other people like Benton, I think, is nature. He has a nice little AoE. Maybe I think about, like, powering him up a little. Because huh? you need to have someone else that will continually apply AoEs. And unfortunately, the way... So right now, I think it's fine. Throw it on auto at this point, you're good. But throughout the matches, there's too many instances where the AI is going to use a single target attack when they really need to be doing an AoE. So maybe you get one of those, you know... Uh, I, I think Benton is the one I'm thinking of, but there's one of those characters out there that have AoEs on both abilities, I think, that's nature. So, have him elementally enhanced in order to kind of auto this a little bit better. Maybe. But man, just ran just randomly leveling up a, <laughs> a random character level 90 is not the move. It really is not the move. Um, but if he's already kind of leveled up, maybe, ah, I don't know, I can't even recommend that. He's just too, he's not He's not gonna be used anywhere else besides this, so not gonna be great. Um, this is more reason why they need to um, unveil. Well, actually, now that I think about it, because you guys have seen the brand new premium books in the monthly, the monthly uh, task mission. I want them to roll that out, but I don't want them to roll, that, roll it out the same way they did Solar and Lunar. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like everyone should have access to that brand new EXP stage, and it shouldn't be hard. It shouldn't be too hard, right? Allow, basically kind of make it around a little higher difficulty than the than the special stage, but allow you to use all your characters in that specific element type. I think that would be a good idea, um, because what th one thing that we definitely need is more EXP books. The old EXP books are just not worth it anymore, um, so I would love to see those premium ones rolled out a bit more. Um, but that will do it, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. That is going to be it for a nature day. I will see you guys in the next one. Later.